Hello there, folks. I'm here at Bartholdi Park on a cold winter's day, and uh, it's supposed to be a lot warmer this week, but uh, check this out. This sable's incredible. I think it's a sable Louisiana. It's labeled, labeled as sable minor, but I'm pretty sure it's Louisiana. This is just a beast of a sable. And you can see all the deciduous um, plants here. Flowers and everything are gone. <laughs> and uh, looks like they tried to remove a lot of the seedlings, but uh, sure enough, these are tough seedlings. You can see a lot of them. Looks like they've been weed whacked or something, but a lot of them still sticking around there. There's just like literally thousands and thousands of sable seedlings everywhere. You look here, including some huge naturalized sable palms. There's like big ones that they just like naturalize, which is awesome. It's like starting to form a trunk. There's like at least two, like or two or three big sables in that clump there. You can see some other ones that are probably naturalized around there. Um, and even like way down here, uh, you got like, I don't know if this is planted or naturalized. This looks almost big enough to be planted, but I'm guessing this might be naturalized. Um, beautiful sable miner, so about the same size as mine. Another one there. They are naturalizing everywhere here. It's awesome to see sables taking over here, in Washington, D.C. That's how it should be. Beautiful. Just wanted to share that with you folks. Uh, this is just a beast of a sable, sable miner here, sable Louisiana. Seedlings everywhere. And uh, yeah, just get a, get, a, get a shot of that really quickly because it's pretty spectacular. Palm. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, folks, let's head up here. Check out some of the other ones. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, obviously the cold does not affect sable palms here. They are tough, tough, tough palms. Tough as nails. Check this out. Another one, presumably naturalized. It'd be a very unusual spot to plant it, like right in the corner there, but looking great, of course. Um, at least one or two sables there. Big, and then uh, over here, uh, more seedlings everywhere. These ones here, you can see all over sable seedlings in there. Even the seedlings look great, of course. And then you see these ones up here. Oh, geez, it scared me. Uh, it's just a robin. But uh, I've seen some rats back here before. But um, sable minor seedlings here, more of them against there. I mean, they are just everywhere here. The sable, they produce seed prol prolifically. And uh, yeah, I mean, they, they get all around. But again, if you put them in the, in the wild, they're not invasive. They sort of stick to their own space. But you can see the, the mother plant there. Um, but yeah, just amazing. Seedlings everywhere. I love that. And then there's more because they actually have another sable minor planted over here. This one, this one looks smaller. I don't know if it's just because it's younger. Oh, they've got, wow, it almost looks like they planted more since I've been here. I guess because all the deciduous plants are gone. I can actually see them now, but I, again, I don't know if they're planted or naturalized, but they almost look like they're planted because they're all along here, but beautiful sable miner here. Another one here looking great. And uh, there sure enough is another one just down here. Some beautiful evergreens here, broadleaf evergreens. And then it's interesting, all these deciduous trees that sort of keep all their leaves uh, after they turn brown. It's fascinating. Juniperus virginiana, native eastern red cedar there. And then last, of course, but not least, another sable miner. You know, just such a great palm. Absolutely love them. And uh, this one's like, <laughs> it's an interesting spot to plant. It's actually a great spot to plant it because I bet you it like floods in here, which they actually like that you're in swamps uh, in a lot of the range. Um, there are very adaptable palms, but it's actually a very smart planting spot because these clearly was planted. They have a tag for it. Um, but uh, you can see it drains out here, but I bet it floods and this palm just loves it. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful sable miner. See the tag there? Yeah, really, really beautiful. Gotta love that. So lots of sable miner here in Washington, D.C. Um, a reliably hardy palm, at least in zone 6B up, um, you know, maybe zone 6A too. Uh, just a great, great species. Absolutely love sable miner. Take care, folks.